Hello there, Rule the Waves fans of YouTube. This is Noname Moment 7 Spore, and today we are continuing our playthrough as Austria Hungary with a starting date of 1900. As a reminder, this series was originally live streamed on Twitch. Links to it and my personal Discord are in the video description below. This was only streamed in 720p, so that is what the video quality is going to be. And this series took place across the original three versions of the game, all of which are currently outdated. With all that out of the way, let's get on to today's episode. Yeah, buy it. Um, studies of enemy aircraft have given us some performance data. Ooh. What is it like? Uh, that. Good combat radius. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure if that's a good combat radius or not. Uh, the blueprints for the new Italian ship San Marco. So that's another Vetter Pisani. So we lost two destroyers there. Um, convoy attack down there. No. Enemy coastal raid down there. I think we can take. And it's at daytime. Uh, just prior to the night. Uh, we did get the carrier Minerva. Um, when, whenever Lisa and Tyrol spot the enemy... Okay, so we... There's something down here. Alright, Minerva. Ready everything you have. Alright, so we know they're down there. They're shooting at a, uh... Panther class. So that's one of our, uh... Destroyers, which is just kind of sitting there right now. Doing protection. Alright. So what do we have? We have... 11 out of 18. I'm gonna wait until our last... There we go. So that is 19 out of 18. We are not gonna put that torpedo bomber on then. So then we will launch our strike over that way. Launch it. Do it. All right. So they're still down here doing their coastal raid. Um, there's our strike going out. So my hope is that Lisa and Tyrol spot the enemy, and then we pull them back as a uh, core group on uh, these guys here. Found anything? Our strike force is going in. Seeing something move over there. Uh, C A B B B B D D fire. We scored a hit on a uh, armored cruiser, is what we're reporting. Uh, took a aircraft destroyed. Alright, so they're between us and Benghazi, so I want us angle on that approach now. Do we have any more? We only have one torpedo bomber ready. Alright. Our torpedo bomber strike is going. Okay, took an aircraft destroyed to uh, heavy anti-aircraft fire. Uh, no aircraft hit, no aircraft hit. I don't think we scored any hits there. Do we have any more? We're ready that one if we need it. I think we need to uh, recover our air wing here. They're shooting at a uh, KE. Okay, Minerva. 
has a bunch of dive dive bombers ready to go again. They're not going to have any fighter protection over here. But this time, we're probably going to want to try a... Uh, oh, what is it? A coordinated strike with our dive bombers and torpedo bombers. Come on. Okay, there we go. Ready them up. That should be enough for this next strike. Are we getting any reports on where they are? Still think they're in this area here. Alright, so that... Strike's not ready yet. Come on. Uh, one more is ready, it looks like. Oh wait, three more. Alright, this is probably going to be the best I get. Alright, so launch them. Launch them over there. Uh, bam, bam. Bam, bam, bam. That is good enough to a coordinated strike. They're all ready. Launch it. Yes. Carry heavy load. So that's only 13 aircraft, unfortunately. Um, rather than, say, the 18 we want. They're fighting something now. Okay, come on. Okay, there's our strike going out. Do we see anything? We haven't seen shit! I haven't found shit! Ah, oh, darn it. Do we have more, uh, we do not have more aircraft to launch. So that's what we have right there. So that looks like our merchant took a torpedo. Oh, they're down here. They're down here, Benghazi. That's good to know. Okay. So our strike's just kind of patrolling for now. I want our strike to refocus there. If they can. Please do so. Nope, they're just patrolling. Window cap and recon. Alright, it's gonna be night time here, though. Okay, so Lisa and Tyrol, you wind up forming up on... Where are you? You, as a core group. How you guys formed up? Your support group on Zrini. So now our goal... Go 20 knots, go that way. There they are. There they are. Okay. This is where things can get hairy. Our goal, strike them at night. Strike him in the darkness here. There we go. Torpedo attack now. Turn away. Nice hit. Nice hit. We scored one.
Okay, so that's a Conta de Cavoir class. Unfortunately, Togetoff is sailing right at them. What the hell are you doing? Flotilla, yeah, do a flotilla attack now. Okay, Naren is sinking. Yep, nice hit, nice hit. Now that's a that battleship's dead in the water. Uh so that is a very good sign. So Zrini took a hit. Um so that's some structural damage. That's our first So our oldest and newest dreadnought are right now serving together. So that ship's dead. That ship's got to be dead at this point. So that's a battleship of some description. <laughs> We're reporting three. I kind of think that was two. Yeah. Oh god, yeah, that just... That one screwed. Two. Alright. Swerve this way. Yeah, that's dead in the water now. Alright, cancel the flotilla attack. Uh, we need to conserve our strength at the moment. We need to hit the guys over this way. So we've confirmed... multiple dead enemies here. There's not enough. Oh, crap. Wait, no, 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 that's bad, that's bad. Order the flotilla attack again. Okay, whatever that is, that's crippled. Um, I don't know what that... It's saying that's a BB, though, so... We took a superstructure hit there. That's a 12 inch hit. That could be a BB or a BC. So what we want to do is we want to do this sort of turn. Zrini is hit by a torpedo. Uh, Zrini has not taken any additional flotation damage. So I take it that's the torpedo probably from that guy. On the other hand, whatever that is, has just been pounded to death by everything. That's another Conta de Cavoir. How many ships, how many battleships does Italy have? So they have three Conta de Cavoirs. One of them has sunk. I think that one of them is down there badly damaged and probably sinking. And that's the third, which is now probably sinking. They have a uh, Galio Cesar, which is or Cesare, which is that, and that sinking. Um, all right, squad max is twenty-one knots. Can you turn that direction? Is your rudder jammed? Yeah, your rudder's jammed. I am, on the other hand. Pretty certain that this has uh, stopped them from doing, or this this is gonna stop them from doing a lot now that they've just lost, I think four battleships. This is this is where the destroyers start to shine. So unfortunately, uh, Zrini is not in the best of shape right now, but she's still chugging along. He's still doing okay. Comet sight's an unknown ship. Okay, that's the sinking one. So 
second secondary battery hit, medium, six inch hit. So whatever that unidentified ship is, six inch guns at the very least. Stay on that course for the moment. We've identified them both as CLs. So this CL Okay, come on. We're not seeing it again. I'm turning around. So that might be some enemy okay, Balaton sites. Yeah, okay. Yeah. That one we expect to be there. My hope is that they don't wind up getting uh, Minerva and them. Go down to cruise speed. Uh, unfortunately, she can only make six knots at the moment because of an engine room hit, so... Hopefully she'll get her machinery repaired here relatively soon. We'll just kind of hang around this area until the daytime. I don't... I seriously doubt that Italy can attack us right now. Now, when these destroyers get into port, um, all this here is going to come undone, unfortunately, so I am going to have to reassign my squadrons, I do think. Or maybe if they're out of visual range, it's okay. Alright, they're in port. Yeah, it, it undid all the squadrons, made everyone independent, I believe. Are you guys independent now? Nope, your core? You guys independent. Okay, good. It didn't do undo everything. Oh, crap. Uh, flotilla attack time. Whatever this is, sink it. We're saying... We're showing it as a D, as a destroyer. Turn that way. God damn it, that was perfectly placed. Alright. So down to ten knots. Move back that way. Um you do the same. Okay. There we go, now it's dead. Yeah, that destroyer right there just did a factor on us. It took out uh planet on um, and it got our battleship there. Okay, we've got to turn that battleship around to Benghazi now. Okay, so it's limited flooding. Good. Okay, come on. Limits flooding again. Errors. Come on. So as you can see, while we were playing through this battle, which had gone really well for us up until our uh, Dreadnought just got torpedoed, uh, the game errored, or the game just decided to throw up an error, and then whenever I try to click to get rid of it, it just goes back up again. It just stays there. And unfortunately, you know, it's not going away. So what winds up happening here is I just for a bit talk about talk about the error and then I wind up actually submitting a bug report on stream but I decide to end the stream here thinking that you know this battle is probably not gonna continue the game or this saves probably broken and I'll probably have to go back to the turn and then restart it now the thing is after I closed down the stream I just tried to click through a bunch more times, like a lot more times, and eventually it worked. Um, and unfortunately that was off stream. So yes, I did manage to uh, get through this error, and actually what wound up happening was there is a very weird effect 
where it, uh, I believe, copied two of my divisions. Uh, it didn't copy the actual ships in them, but it copied basically the division thing. So there was like two of this one destroyer division, but um, all the ships were only in one of them, and then two of a uh, separate division, but all the ships were only in one of the two divisions. So yeah, at that point I actually was able to save the uh, battle, and on the next stream I was able to restart the battle from where we left off. So with that, thank you all for watching, and I guess watch the next video for that. Actually no, I'm not that mean. Here it is. We'll, we'll just continue this. So we're going to go back to our Austro-Hungary game. It is February 1931, and well... We're in the middle of battle. We're in the middle of the same battle we were in last time. Now, good news is, for whatever reason, the game has shown us the names of all of the currently sunk ships. So, we know for certain now that we sank four battleships. And then that, that destroyer, that was one of our destroyers. On the other hand, we have some bad news, and that is that, uh... Erzurak Friedrich is dead. Okay. Okay. Every time I reload this, that flooding number changes for some reason. Last time I loaded this, it was like 202. Now it's 201. I didn't save it between the two attempts either. So I'm wondering if the reduced flooding amount changed based on... Well, what was it? What was I going to say? I'm wondering if it just changed um, because it hadn't been loaded or hadn't been observed, and now that it's observed, I don't know, it changed somehow. I don't know how that number's actually going down over time despite the save file not changing. Um, I have loaded, I did load this up a couple more times, but I didn't play through it. I wanted to just look at the, this menu up here. So yeah, calculator-wise, in terms of flooding, we have 7788 left 7788 divided by 201 which means right now we have 38.75 ish turns um, or 39 turns of this ship being alive now this ship um, going in this direction ETA is so it's one hour there two hours about there at 10 knots So that's about two, or maybe that's rounding, I don't know. Um, I want to see, i got to look up what knots means. Hold on, knot. Uh, knots. Knots. Um, knot meaning nautical. Is one nautical mile per hour. So we're going at 10 knots right now. So Benghazi is 38.45 nautical miles away. So that would take us, I would expect, 3.8 hours? Maybe about 3.7 hours. Let's do that. Okay, so 3.7 times 60 means that we need to survive for about 200 turns. Alright. So, Zerini... Oh, wait, no, 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 we have it at 14 knots. It should be going at 10. Okay, limit's flooding again. Good. Oh, wait, no, no, that was that turn. So, it has now decided to regroup. Limits flooding, 180. Uh, come on, detach it again. Detach the ship. Let me manually take control of her. Alright, so right now it's at 7489. 7489 divided by 180. So now we can survive for 41.6 turns. Or 41.6 minutes. And you just re-angle down there. 
limits flooding again. So it would normally have 39 turn, or, well, not 39, 40 turns right now. So that would be rounded up to 42. Now it is at how much? 7317. 7317 divided by 153. So now we have 48 turns to live. Good. Um, I'm going to speed Zrini up to 10. Limits flooding again. Good. 129. And limits flooding again. What's it at now? 103. So it's 6995. Now we have 60 now we, now the ship has 68 minutes to live. How far is it away from uh Benghazi now? Still about 34 nautical miles. Limits flooding. Good. 83. Going to recalculate this. 6843. Six, 6843 six, four, divided by 83 means that we now have uh, about one and a half hours of flotation left. Limits flooding again. Good. 72. Oh, that's nice. It's nice. Flooding's going down. 6804. That's what we have now. 6804 divided by 72 means that we are now well into one and a half hours. Uh, why are you turning that way? Head towards... head that way. Limits flooding twice more. It's now at 29. 6682. Six, divided by 29 uh, means that we have 230 minutes. Uh, that ship is well alive at this point. So we'll just let it form up for the moment. And then once we get close to the base... Yeah, it's now at 6 flooding. So what I don't want to do right now is I don't want anyone but that ship to enter base. Now, Planet is uh, trying to move, I think, but she's sinking, and she is probably just going to wind up sinking out there at sea. I don't think Planet could get into base in time. Yeah. Ah, uh, rip. Urzerzog Friedrich, though, is definitely going to make it back at this point. So, that's our airship base there. That's that's the insulation they were trying to bomb. So, I don't know how close we have to get to Benghazi before our ships automatically go into port. Now, how soon is it going to be daytime? Hopefully pretty soon. Because I do want to keep a force out there to rescue survivors from everything. Assuming, actually, how soon is, how soon until morning? Uh, does it say? This time there, night, Disney TA. Just don't let Minerva go into port. Urzark Friedrich limits flooding again. Good. Okay, now it's actually at zero flooding. Um, I think it's still too risky to keep the ship out in case it gets torpedoed again. I think it's still a good idea to get it into port. What I'm going to... No, we're going to stay on the same path. Once we get close to port, I will order her detached. Uh... Try to send her into port. How good is Zrini right now? We're gonna go 14 knots. Uh, 
All right. This ghost has lost contact with division. Ah, uh, at this point, I will order uh, Urzarag Friedrich detached. Yeah, detached, and manually take control. So you aim for Benghazi. No, no. Zrini. Uh, Zrini, you aim just slightly that way. And slow down to 12 knots. You aim roughly there. No. No. You guys swerve that way. No. Okay, now our ship is actually in the port. So now... Yeah, now you guys are independent. So you be support. Actually, no, you be a uh, scout, I would say. You guys, uh... Form on Zrini as support. Form on Zrini as support. Actually, no, you form on uh, RCL as support. You form on uh, Zrini as a core group. Hello, Viking. What happened yesterday? Ah, you fell asleep. So what happened yesterday was um, we fought Italy in uh, several engagements. Um, I mean, there's some stuff over here. And then we get this engagement. Watch you sink a bunch of BBs. That was probably the engagement. What wound... Or... This is probably still the same one, since, well, all the battleships are right here. This night engagement. What wound up happening was... We we had sunk all these guys, damaged them a bunch. We moved our ships kind of over here-ish. And then an Italian destroyer came out of the night over here. And wound up plugging a torpedo into our destroyer planet shown right there, and then one of our battleships, uh, Urzarag Friedrich Matt, or Urzarag Friedrich, and, uh, so that ship was very, hev or very heavily damaged, uh, a lot of flooding, we had to get her back to base, uh, thankfully they did control her flooding, and she is now in port, uh, what wound up happening, though, was that just after that, the game had an issue. A very, very big issue. Um, basically, an error report came up. And that error report was bad. Uh, it wouldn't go away, basically. And it took a lot of... Or, and I clicked it a whole bunch, just didn't go away. Error 504D. I think... Maybe... I think it was different than that. I don't know. Okay, Aspern. Yeah, you watch the VOD, I mean, what error was that? I don't know. Um, So what happens is, eventually... I'm thinking that I'm going to have to revert to before this battle. That was what I was thinking. And then somehow, clicking through it... A little bit later on, got it to go away. And for some reason, it duplicated the divisions of the destroyer comet and the uh, damaged battleship. Like, there weren't two ships. That wasn't the case. But there was, like, an empty division and a full division with them in it. Or divisions with the ships in it, and then an em or then two empty divisions of ships. So I think that had something to do with it. And I did record that and send it all in. On the other hand, after this reload, um, that's gone away. Thank goodness. Okay. So these guys formed up anybody? You should probably be formed up on them as a support group. It is. It's a weird error. So I believe all of our ships are uh, reformed on something here. You guys? Yeah. 
Alright, so now you can do 23 knots, you're only going to do 20, and we are going to sail you back that way. On the other hand, uh, you guys form up on Zrini as a support group. You form up on uh, Elephant as a support. So Siskos is just lost. I don't know which uh, division you're supposed to be part of. I might just let you... I would say I might just let you go back to port, but I might... I probably won't. So you form on Zrini as a support. You form on uh, Minerva here as a support group. And how about you form on T-22 as a core? Alright, so now, yeah, you guys go that way. T3, yeah, you're formed. No. Why are you going to Benghazi, guys? No. I sent an order. Follow it. No. There we go. Now they're following it. No. 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 Yes. No. Okay, so we're still rescuing survivors in this area. How bad is Rini's bulkhead rupture? 56 flooding. I think she'll get it under control here. Even if it just means moving her more slowly. Or not. Alright, so we've rescued the crews of the ship sunk here. Oh, crap. This is bad. Yes. Yes to all. Get into port. No, squad max. Get into port, Zarini. Yeah, Zarini's in port. Good. So my hope is that some escorts will get the uh, survivors of those ships over there. So I don't know where we're spotting the enemy still. Also, oh that's a recon. Salamander is the new force fleet. Where is Salamander? Benghazi. Kuzola's in Benghazi. Bosna's in Benghazi too. Alright, so we're fine. I don't know why the time elapsed is so long. I'm wondering if uh, airships or something found them, or if there's like air battles going on over here, as there seem to now be constant air battles. <laughs> Alright then, so there we go. Scenario limit is reached. So we lost four destroyers. Three minesweepers, one trader. We suffered two battleships heavily damaged. One was moderate damaged, one with light damage, one undamaged. We sank four Italian battleships and two Italian destroyers. So, uh, K.O. Duilio. Yeah, that was evading air attacks. I wonder what our bomb hit was, because we got a bomb hit at the start. And then, yeah, it scored main hits, then 15-inch hits, 14-inch hits. Actually, because of heavy flooding. Yeah, and then it took a couple torpedoes, and high speed increases flooding, and it just sank and 
Pounded to dust, Conta de Cavoir. We mostly sunk these Conta de Cavoir classes. I think we took out an entire class of th three ships in the battle. No, the bomb hit was definitely one of our uh, carrier-based bombers. I just don't know which ship it hit. Because it said CA, and I don't know if it's legitimate either. So this one just got pounded to dust by, well, you know, 13-inch, 14-inch, and 15-inch hits. And 12 inch hits and such. Two. Yeah. Galio Cesare. So I think it's just marked all the turrets as destroyed at this point. Um. This one. Yeah, four inch hits. So it took an electrical power hit initially, and that was what stopped it. But yeah, three torpedoes right there. She has more holes in it than a wheel of him in the Yeah. Dear God, look at that. Look at, look at that. Look at that. That's a lot of holes we put into that ship. And then, uh, Dante, uh, Gari. Yeah, a lot of holes there, too. A lot of hits. So, yeah, evading air attack at the start. So, torpedo from Bosna caused flooding, and then we got, you know, more hits. And another torpedo hit, and then it was sinking. So yeah, Zrini had a bulkhead rupture. And it did do some limiting flooding, but it was stuck with 56 flooding at the end. Chris must have been partially Swiss at that point. Yep, yep, yeah. Yeah, they, they would have been Swiss at that point. Showing carefully drilling holes. So yeah, that... Zrini unfortunately took damage due to uh, that bulkhead rupture. Arzog uh, Ferdinand took uh, two turrets knocked out. But other than that, this one did a pretty good job and it survived pretty intact. Because uh, Zrini did also take that torpedo hit and that was pretty nasty. And Arzog Friedrich also took that one torpedo hit which caused all of that flooding damage. And wound up escaping heavily damaged. So we lost a couple planet class destroyers. This one took 12 inch hits. Of course it was going to be lost. A dose of surprise beats or DD butt sex wasn't very nice. Matter of fact, it was quite rude. Yes. Uh, so this battleship we didn't do much to. And this one we didn't definitely encounter at night. We Looks like we scored a couple of hits, but not too much. Um you know, planet, planet took a torpedo and was like instantly sinking to get off, took a couple of hits, nothing too major or steener, that was one of our light ones and that one they got close to and just bombarded uh, and pet whistle that was one of their destroyers, was this the this was the one which torpedoed our ship. Probably broke the keel. <laughs> yep. Yeah, this one torpedoed our ship right there before getting uh, shot down. Putting two down the middle. Yep, probably. And then we lost this minesweeper from there, or from them shooting at it, and we lost this minesweeper from them shooting at it. And this is the other Italian destroyer we sank. So it launched torpedoes at stuff. This one might have gotten a hit on Zrini. Did it get it? Ah, that one had... Is that the hit on Zrini? The uh, torpedo hit? I don't know. Time for more minesweepers. Yeah, we're going to need them at this point. Where's your torpedo hit? Uh, no, that was, uh... They scored a hit. This is the guy which torpedoed our battleship. Conte de Cavoir. They, hit, they uh, torpedoed us with their battleship. Every battle of the Italian Air Force sinks a couple. Yeah. So the single torpedo hit we got on this guy, was it before he was sinking? 
No, it was after. That was T-22. I just want to see, did any of our battleships get a torpedo hit? That was all salamander on that guy. Conta de Carvar pulled a Rodney. Yep. I'm curious if any of our battleships scored any torpedo hits now. Uh... So that was... I'm... Okay. T3, T3. It only took two torpedo hits. That was those two. Kanta only took the one. Uh, Gilio Cesare. I mean, it took six. But I know at first it was... So it launched a torpedo at one of our battleships. It missed. Um, took three torpedoes there. And then it was sinking there, and then later on our light forces put a bunch more torpedoes into it, I do believe. Or all of our forces just did everything to it. Yet yeah, two more from Magnet right there. And then... Any others? And you say Gilio. Try saying Gilio like you say... Uh, Djibouti? Gilio, Gilio, Gilio Cesare. God damn it, Gilio Cesare. I need to pronounce stuff better. Uh, where is that last torpedo hit? Because we got the two from Magnet right there. We got the three from another one up here. There you go. Zrini, Zrini scored a torpedo hit. On, uh, Cesare. On Giulio Cesare. And then Dante Aligari took five torpedo hits, so it took one from Bosna at first. And then Limits Flooding took a torpedo. Another one from Bosna. Right there. Uh, torpedo from Cru uh, Cruzola. Bad Italian pronunciations just irk me. I assume I got Cesare at least decently correct, right? Or Cesare? Cesare? Okay, I didn't. She? She? Or She? Cesare? No, Cesare. She. <laughs> I can't say that. She. I don't know if it's Che or Che. Cesare or Cesare. It's difficult with... Strong E. Cesare? Che... Cesare or Cesare? Cesare. I'm sorry, I'm gonna annoy you this whole stream. Yeah, none of this, none of this registers well with me. Where are the other torpedoes on, uh, uh, Dante? Oh yeah, T-21 right there, got a hit. Somewhere else in this, I think we got one. I, I'm not gonna bother looking. So, in terms of light damage, okay, we, we saw these. So our light cruiser there took light damage. Uh, Seal Turney, what did... So this guy got shot up a couple of times, so... Yeah. Attaches because of heavy flooding. I took a few hits. And then a couple of our destroyers took some uh, heavy damage. Balaton was one of ours. Bosna took some damage. That took some damage. And then they got that, and everything else was no damage. Italian E is like an E, not an E-E. Eh? Cesare? Sh is it Cesare or Cesare? Or am I still getting that wrong? Or like a capital E, not an E. I don't know, I'm confused. So, our carrier, where are you on? Cesare? Okay. Where is our carrier? Their carrier survived without any damage, and I want to see if I can... I don't actually think I can see what its aircraft hit. So, yeah, if we look at the 
Actually, if we look at bomb hits, one bomb hit on the battleship Roma. So, we scored a bomb hit on an Italian on an Italian battleship, and it did nothing. Oh, it was a dud! Ah! Damn it! Roma's ugly. Well, I think it's a what Nassau, Nassau, whatever layout. That was what we scored the bomb hit on. But we did rescue a good number of survivors there, so that's good. So they got 76 survivors, we got 508. Aircraft losses, we took much heavier aircraft losses than they did. They failed their objective. We did sink a merchant, so that, you know, swayed the points in our favor. But I'm pretty certain that the majority of the points difference was probably this right here. Um, although that's going to hurt. That might actually be a little bit more deadly since we have a lot of destroyers and they don't. The Italian fleet went bye-bye with this battle. Yep. Yeah, look at that. Look look at our VP difference. Uh, I'm going to do an alt print screen here real quickly. And just, uh, just, just save this image. Uh, But I'm still pit. I'm I'm pissed about Zerini. I am pissed that uh, Zerini took that bulkhead rupture. Because if she hadn't, if if her bulkhead hadn't ruptured, that would be one battleship heavily damaged. Yeah, rest in pasta, bitch. Where? So where were the Italian ships at the end? They were actually close. Yeah, they were retiring to port. So this. Okay, let me put it this way. They went into this battle with two destroyers, six battleships, and two light cruisers. Yes. And this is what they left with. These two made it out. Can you invade Sicily? Um, it's expensive. I have tried so far. Yeah, Austrian major victory. The Battle of Benghazi. Thank you all for watching. As a reminder, the like and subscribe buttons exist. Do with them as you please. If you want to watch my live streams from which this video originates, you can go to my Twitch page. And if you want to keep up with the live streams and interact with my nearly non-existent community, you can join my Discord. Links to both are in the description below. Goodbye, everyone.